Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Real quick video today, how to compare fractions. A lot of students have difficulties with this problem, but I want to show you a really good trick, how can we compare a fraction, and a really good trick, how can we, how can we solve this, this kind of problems. Take a look closely, we have two fractions, 5 over 8 and 8 over 13. We don't know exactly the value of these, uh, these two uh, values right here, because this is not like a one half, one third that we exactly and or we approximately know that the value of this. We have 5, 8 and 8 over 13. How can we compare this? Okay, let's let's cross multiply this. 5 times 13 we have 65 and 8 times 8 we have 64. So as you can see this value on the left hand side is greater. So this is the answer, but how can we how can we prove this method? This is method correct or not correct? Why this method is correct? Take a look closely. We have, for example, 5 8 on the left hand side and we have 8 over 13 on the on the right hand side. Why this method is correct? Take a look closely. We just multiply both sides by 13 right here by this by this denominator and this denominator and numerator we numer multiply by this denominator. We have 8 times 8. And take a look closely. This denominator are the same because we have 8 times 13 and 13 times 8. This is the same, but on the, in our numerator we have 5 times 13, which is equal to 65, and 8 times 8, which is equal to, which is equal to 64. So I hope you understand this trick. We just use cross multiplying. Let's try to practice. For example, we have 7 over over third, for example, and right here we have maybe like 11 over 5. So we don't know exactly the value of this of this fraction, but how can we how can we prove? Okay, let's use cross multiplying right here. We have 5 times 7, we have 35. And right here we have 3 times 11, we have 33. So the, the left hand side is greater. Why this is correct? Because we have this denominator 5, so we multiply right here by 5 and right here by 5. We can easily cancel it, but we don't, we don't need to do this. And on the right hand side we have 11 over 5 and we multiply by this common denominator. We have 3, so times 3 and times 3. We can easily cancel, but we don't need it. We need our common denominator the same. Yeah? And right now we can compare 7 times 5, 35 and 11 times 3, 33. This on the left hand side is is greater. So I hope you understand this step. For example, it's easier for you to make a common numerator the same. So for example, right here we have 6 and right here 6. And how can we compare this one? And right now this is one moment because you need the less denominator, not the greater, but the less. If you're talking about denominator, you need to find the less denominator than this one or than this one. So I hope you understand this method, write a question in comment. This is a real quick video. I want to show you this trick right here because a lot of students have difficulties with this problem. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.